Today's topic is solving multi-step equations. So let's get started. Today's essential question is, what are the steps used to solve multi-step equations, and how do I know what order to use? It seems to always be, I'm sorry, I'm trying to get organized here and get, get the screen set up. It always seems to be a challenge for students. They, they look and they have too, too many options and really not sure how to do it. So I'm going to try and alleviate that for you today. So let's first start talking about the goals for solving an equation. The first goal or the final goal is that you want a single positive variable on one side of the equal sign and what it's equal to on the other. Let me show you some examples. One example is this, x equals 5. That would be a perfect answer to an equation that you have solved. Another one would be negative 20 equals m. I put this one in here to show you that the variable can be on the left side or the right side. It doesn't matter, just as long as its coefficient is positive 1. Okay? A third example, d equals rt. You probably have seen this formula. And this is called a literal formula or a literal equation. And, uh, and, and it's to solve for the distance formula. So distance equals rate times time. And I'll give you another literal equation right now. And the other one is c equals 2 pi r. Yeah, that's a pi right there. We're an attempt at a pi. Um, and that is for the circumference of a circle. That formula allows you to find the circumference of a circle. All right. Let's move on. So I have a couple of hints for you to solve an equation. So if you're taking notes, which you should be because the notes are what is going to help you to try and figure out what you're doing and to confirm whether you're doing it right or not. Okay, so here are some hints. The first hint, the equal sign is the middle of every equation. It doesn't matter where it is. It doesn't matter how many terms are on the left side or on the right side. You could have 10 terms on the left side of the equal sign and only one on the right. And the equal sign is still the middle of the equation. Your teachers have probably said, uh, you add 2 to both sides. To both sides of what? To both sides of the equal sign, because the equal sign is in the middle of your equation. Okay. When you're finished, your variable has to be positive and has to have a coefficient of 1. And we'll talk about that, what mean, that means in a little bit. So, here is a phrase, don't call Mexico after midnight. And it's absolutely got nothing to do with Mexico. But the word Mexico fits for what my purposes are. So, why don't you pause for a second and stop writing and just watch the part of this video that will complete, because I'm going to fill in this table as I'm speaking. And then when you're finished with that, you can pause the computer and then copy it down uh, on a graphic organizer or on a sheet of paper that you use for notes. Okay? So let's look first things first. Don't call Mexico after midnight is the phrase that I'm going to use. And the equation that I'm going to use is 5 times the quantity of 2x plus 3 equals 12x minus 9 plus 4x. So I'm going to take my term, and I'm going to put them all down on a row, and I'm going to talk about what each one means. Don't call Mexico after midnight is very similar to uh, please excuse my dear Aunt Sally, okay, except it's solving equations as opposed to simplifying expressions. So the D in don't stands for the distribute, to distribute, or the distributive property. Okay, so anytime you see parentheses, and you're going to want to put parentheses in there, you're going to distribute. So up in the original example, we have 5 times the quantity of 2x plus 3. When we distribute, we're going to get 10x plus 15 equals 12x minus 9 plus 4x. Bring everything else down uh, that you have not changed. The second word, call, stands for combining like terms. And we're going to combine like terms only on the same side of the equal sign. So as I look at the second row of that problem, I have the left side of the equal sign and the right side of the equal sign. The left side of the equal sign says 10x plus 15, and I know there are no like terms there. But on the right side of the equal sign, 
I see a tw positive 12x and a positive 4x. So in this part, I'm going to combine the positive 12x and positive 4x and rewrite the problem so that we get 10x plus 15 equals 16x minus 9. The third word, Mexico, has the M in blue font and it has the X in blue font. And I did this specifically, and that's why I picked Mexico. So what that stands for is move the smallest X or the smallest variable to the other side of the equal sign. Okay, so let's look in, the, in our uh, example to the right. We have a 10X on the left and a 16X on the right. And it says to move the smallest X to the other side of the equal sign. Well, 10X is the smallest X, so I'm going to move the 10x from the left side of the equal sign to the right side of the equal sign by subtracting it from both sides. When you subtract it from both sides, the 10s cancel out and you get 15 equals 6x minus 9. Okay? The next step that we are looking at is for the word after. And what that means is to add or subtract anything that's on the same side as your last remaining variable. You should only have one variable left, or 6x in this case, and it's on the right side of the equal sign. So we need to isolate that or get it by itself. So we need to move the 9 from the right side of the equal sign to the left side of the equal sign. Okay? And are we going to add or subtract? Well, it's a negative 9, so in this case we have to perform the opposite operation. So we would have to add 9 to the right side and add 9 to the left side. Negative 9 and a positive 9 on the right side, they're going to cancel out. So, there you go. We should get 24 is equal to 6x. The last step says midnight. And midnight stands for to multiply or divide by the coefficient of x or a denominator reciprocal of a fraction. Do we have a fraction in this problem right now of 24 equals 6x? No, we don't have a fraction. So we are going to divide by the coefficient of x. The coefficient of x is 6. So we're going to divide both sides by 6. 6 divided by 6 gives us a coefficient of positive 1, and our x equals 4. So that is how you solve a multi-step equation, starting from uh, the first step, where you have to distribute all the way down to your answer uh, of 4 equals x, which is, actually, which is totally okay to have the variable on the right side. All right, if you have any questions... Now is a good time to ask your teacher. If you haven't copied this chart down, I strongly recommend that you copy every word, even the ones that are in parentheses, because that's going to help you to walk you through any type of equation that you have. It can be a one-step equation. It could be a five-step equation, like you see. But this should help. Thanks again. Have a great day. Good luck.